Oh, you took All right, everybody. Yay. We are on Facebook Live. Hi. Hey. Here's our Wednesday night cooking with Kim. Hi. 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 Here's our Wednesday night cooking with kiddos for April. Yes. And this is, um, so I'm going to share a couple of cool um, finds that I've got at the grocery store lately. And Rachel and her son Jonah are cooking tonight yes. from their kitchen. You guys want to say hello and, and introduce yeah. Jonah to us? Thanks, Donna. Yes. So Jonah is going to cook with us tonight. Jonah is uh, my son, he well, he turned 11 in April. I can't believe it. He's in fourth grade at Summit. And wow. um, so one of the things that he has kind of been in charge of is breakfast. So usually on Saturday, if we're home, we'll make a big breakfast mm -hmm. and he has perfected scrambled eggs. Nice. So you, you like, you enjoy making them. They're easy for you to make. Yes. Very easy. Okay. Good. So, so it's just Jonah, something that did I your think, mom huh yeah no I just was gonna say eggs are something that I've had them cook since they were really little like it's fun for them to crack it's fun for them to whisk it's kind of you can't mess it up so yeah <laughs> that's why you Jonah gets to do it huh yeah or what'd you say up? Jonah I yeah. talked over you unless if you um leave it on the pan for too long or you make it too raw yeah yeah so guys, like it's you don't want to overcook it but you want to want to cook it with words like a firm mild yeah cook. yeah uh -huh. Uh -huh. i think that's, that's good. good that's good yep. yeah yeah that's great does daniel mess it up all the time anyway <laughs> he doesn't make eggs much he makes a lot he of other hash things. browns he'll make the hash browns yeah. Yeah. nice yeah. Hash browns. nice yeah. great plan. Awesome week too. yeah jenna's good at baking mm -hmm. yeah 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 okay so you want him right. to get started we're gonna make scrambled yeah. eggs okay 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 go ahead and wash your hands yeah. so yeah i think it's you know eggs are so inexpensive such a great source of protein and fat you can cook them so many different ways and you can have them any time of day so that's kind of a staple at our house rachel talk to us about you know getting kids involved in the kitchen and um, that you've done that since they were little and how you thought that, feel like that's really helped them with so many different things. Oh, um, yeah, I think involving them when they're little, just whatever you're doing, let them help. If it's cutting, you know, using, you know, a, not, a butter knife even, or letting them sprinkle or pour with measuring cups just gets them involved. And it's been the one way to really get them to also eat the food that I fix is if they're involved with it, then they're better at eating it. So, awesome. okay. okay, Jonah, I'm going to let Jonah, I'm going to switch my camera around. Okay. How, oh, here we go. Okay. There you go. Okay. Jonah. Okay. <laughs> you can put your shell over oh, here yeah that was a good one there so go. so my tip, remember what my tip is if you get shells into okay. the bowl how do you get them out um you like have to like scoop it up with the other egg shell it's kind of like play-doh if it sticks to something then you just kind of like goes towards it. yeah that's a good tip so if there's a little bit of shell in there instead of trying to fish it out with your finger use the other half of the egg shell and it's like a magnet it's a lot easier to so we kind of the first way we worked on the cracking those eggs was just to crack in the middle of the egg and put our thumbs in the middle and pull them apart. Yeah. Yeah. Those eggs look great, Rachel. Where'd you get those organic eggs? Those, those are from Walmart. I mm. like the way they taste. And they're really the yolks are nice and bright. Mm. And um there we get our eggs at Aldi. Um, there's sometimes, yeah. Um, and Nixa has um, their uh, well and good health market, and they have local eggs there. We'll go there too, don't we, Jonah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're whisking them. Mm -hmm. Good. And Jonah, yeah. you have a big family. How many do you have to make when you're cooking for your whole family? Around seven or something maybe even uh, the whole thing yes yeah, so like other family comes over cousins uh grandparents yeah all that stuff 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes for us, we have to fix a dozen, don't we? Wow. Yeah, yes. for a family of five, yeah. And your arm can get pretty tired very easily. Your, oh, when you're whisking, <laughs> your arm gets tired. Uh, and so um, I'm done now. I'm going to add olive oil. Okay. Ooh. So just um, stick to the pan. Oh, tell Donna about our pan. That So when Jenna first started cooking, we used cast iron skillet. It was a little harder to clean and use. And so... Okay we found this pan at walmart and it doesn't have the teflon it's but it's it's doesn't the things don't stick to it it's really easy to clean up that's awesome did you turn it on you might turn the oven on the oh, skillet the skillet now. okay what over low heat medium low heat what medium do you like medium to low heat okay and pour them in Okay, if we, wow. oh, Connie says, hi, Rach and Jonah. Oh, Connie likes your haircut, Jonah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you got your spatula. And so these are nice, inexpensive spatulas that I found at Aldi that are a little bit smaller and easier for them to use. So, you make it yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what's the key of making good scrambled eggs, Jonah? You always have to move them around so they don't get too overcooked. Okay. And personally, I don't really like a lot of brown on my eggs. Makes it um, too stale for me to eat. I really kind of refuse them and put them down. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So we'll, he'll keep stirring, Donna, if you want to show those products, because this That's is what okay. he'll do the whole time. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's wonderful, Jenna. I appreciate that. Um, so I wanted to share just a couple of great products I found. Um, again, quick, easy. I'm the lazy cook. Jonah and Rachel are the really good cooks. So, um, yeah. so this is a product that is um, one of those uh, salad mixes. And this was a new one that I found at Sam's Club and it's um, Mediterranean. And it's pretty awesome. Of course, the, the um, salad mix is fantastic. It's broccoli and red cabbage and carrots and kale and cauliflower. So we've got some great cruciferous vegetables in here and some great dark colors um, and it's shredded. So this makes just a great salad base. Um, the other thing that's really fun about this one now, of course, you know, I'm not loving the dressing. I think I counted three salad, three sugars in the dressing, although it is a tahini, which I thought would, be really delicious. I don't think they needed the sugar in it, but like I said, three sugars in the dressing, so that gets tossed. But the other really cool part about it, it comes with a little packet of like garbanzo beans or chickpeas and chopped sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of olives, almost like a tempeh, but not, not that yum. blended. It is delicious and there's no sugar in this. So this I'm going to keep. The other thing that's in it is a bunch of sunflower seeds. So that gets in it for the crunch. And so I think I'm gonna make this tonight for dinner and throw some feta cheese on it and just sort of um, drizzle some olive oil on it. And um, oh, I've got some chicken it's left over, so I'll crunch that in. So, okay, that's my, that's my- Ooh, I've got to find that salad kit, it's, Donna. It's, it's, yeah it's, it's just with the other salad kits at sam's that's what yeah it was okay some at sam's yeah and they're so inexpensive they're under four bucks and you can't go Ooh. wrong with that so yeah and with all those toppings you know olives yeah. are kind of expensive so yeah yeah really yummy and the sun-dried tomatoes who would have thought yeah it's delicious Yum. yeah all right so Jonah, catch us up. Up. yeah tell tell donna what you were been doing just been flipping over the eggs, trying not to get them overcooked. Yeah. That's great. They're coming together. They're nice. And, yeah. So see how nice too, it doesn't stick on the bottom of the pan. And I try yeah. not to use the Teflon pans. You know, I don't want that black stuff flaking off into the food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, and I have, I have some KitchenAid stainless steel skillets I really like, but they just stick way too bad. And then you end up wasting like a whole egg with them, you know, by the, yeah. time they stick yeah move it, yeah your that color is so beautiful isn't that so pretty yeah. they're about done yeah i'm gonna i'm about to turn this off you're about so. to turn the heat off yeah so how do you know when to turn it yeah. off 
to whenever you don't see any of the eggs flying around and you do, um, it just looks golden. It yeah. doesn't have anything on Perfect. it. Perfect. Oh, so, so creamy. That yeah. looks amazing. Yeah. yeah, they're so fluffy this way. But yeah. I think the constant stirring. And then when do you oh. season them? I season them right now. Right? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Show show Donna what seasoning you're using. Um, I'm using it. Um, I'm using pepper and salt. Mm -hmm. Um, you can add um garlic if you want to. Yeah, you love garlic, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That's great. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I can tell that you're the you're the guy. You're the one that knows what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. Owen's wanting to make eggs, but I know something definitely could go wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Why <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I yeah. I, uh, uh, so you don't trust him to make eggs. Not really. <laughs> We tried to make peanut butter and chocolate granola bars, and he oh. ended up cooking the microwave. He, like, he, oh, no. it was a Saturday morning, and we were at home. It was early. I was still in bed, and he went to make granola bars in the microwave, and everything would have been fine if he wouldn't have put the metal fork in the microwave. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and he put it to like, and he put it to like 30 minutes. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. So rule, he can't use the microwave. That was oh, fantastic. No. I think he can move off the. I was like, oh, and what's that smell? And he was like, duh, the um granola bars that I made. And I, I was probably the one who gave him the suggestion. I was. Oh just really? Okay, oh. so here's what happened. I was talking about how good um peanut butter, chocolate um, uh bars are, and um it ended up. Being in a state where Owen just wanted to eat one right now, and so mm. he decided to um, just make them, and voila, you get a burnt chocolate peanut granola bar. <laughs> oh, so that didn't do good. Well, those those eggs look perfect. They do. Good. We're gonna eat them. You want to get a plate out? Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. So that's easy. So I encourage you know get your kids have them if they can't reach the countertop just using a little step stool pull up a chair let them watch you just you know turn down the heat and they'll be fine you know that's awesome did your boys cook with you donna did they li like being in the kitchen huh oh she i don't know i was never with my boys but they were little <laughs> oh, i work too much but, but so. sam likes to cook he loves to cook. Now they're actually, that's a good point. They're both amazing cooks now and they're definitely whole food, low carb cooks for sure. So yeah, yeah. they both try and follow pretty low carb. Do so they? lots of vegetables, yeah. lots of delicious grilled meat. Yeah, I should get Sam, I should have got Sam on here. So maybe we'll have Donna, my kid next week. Should. Where'd you go, Donna? <laughs> oh, well, come, come over. Oh, you're going to get a fork. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's delicious. You're going to taste test them. You think they're going to be too hot? Are they going to be too hot? Well, yeah, they probably will, but I'll, I'll have them. Uh, that's what I'm going to eat for dinner. Yum. Yeah. How, How are, are they? they? Uh, not the worst, not the best. They, they taste good. <laughs> what? Not the worst, not the best. They taste There good. you go. Jonah, okay. tell me if you're going to add garlic, how would you do that? Do you guys have uh, garlic powder or? Down? Probably huh? powder. Probably powder. Yeah. You just sprinkle a little bit on, just like the salt or the pepper. Just don't yeah. overload it. You don't want too much garlic. Yeah. And Dan or Owen likes, I always show this is the bagel seasoning from Walmart. <gasps> Aldi yes. has one too. And it's really good on eggs. Oh, really like yeah. Yeah. Those That's are the awesome. ingredients. Sesame seeds, salt, garlic, onion, black sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. Oh my That's goodness. Really good. Yeah. Very good. Very good. All right. Can I show you guys one more find? Yeah. Okay. This is, this is for your dessert. Okay. Okay. Jana will come out, have to come up for dessert for this. Oh, I will have to come over to Donna's for dessert. 
Wait, really? So yeah. this is what I found at Brahms. Can you guys see that? Ooh, it's Brahms. a dare sugar added ice cream. And I've been so in, I looked at all the ingredients. So there was we were there last night and I um found probably seven different flavors. And Ooh. looking at the ingredients, I'm I'm very impressed with the ingredients because they're not in this particular one. Some of them had it, but this doesn't have sugar alcohol in it. So this is actually sweetened with monk fruit and allulose. Have you, oh. um, yeah, have you heard about the allulose a little no, bit? No, I don't know. No, tell me about that. Well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to learn more, but I think it is actually derived from foods that have fructose in them. So it's kind of like a more natural sweetener and it's a non floric mm. sweetener. It doesn't have the properties of fructose, but there is some sort of relationship, like it's a duplicate or a mimic of, of like fructose. And so it's called allulose becoming very popular. Um, some of the celebrity like low carb <laughs> folks are kind of touting it now. Um, so anyway, so I was really impressed with that. The ingredients look great. They're short ingredients. And like I said, there's allulose and monk fruit are the, and it, and it's pretty good. And they they have a vanilla one, of course, that looks even a little better than this one. So, and then they had a few that don't look so great and do have a lot of sugar alcohol in them, but I, this must be a new, a new sort of um, brand or something that they're selling at Brahms now. So oh, I um, try it. I really, yeah, I like so monk fruit. The Lacano brand, I like. We use that. I'll show that. Um, yeah. So that is, let me flip. This is um, oh. the, the brand of maple syrup made from monk fruit. And it, this one I got at Home Goods. You know how they have like random food finds. Oh, wow. So, That's great. Yeah. yeah. That's great. Okay, guys. Anything okay. else? Those are our show and tells for tonight. Yeah. Jonah, yeah. what a great, oh. he needs to come and take a bow. Oh, come here. Come walk. Is he gone? He's holding jackpot. So, okay. He's there's, there's, oh, jackpot. Okay. Take a bow. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Bravo. Thanks for kicking with me. Oh, oh. Aww, so sweet. Uh-oh, puppy wants to get in. Yeah, he's barking. He's <laughs> jealous. Aww. He wants eggs. He's a cutie. Oh, and he does love eggs. Jackpot loves eggs, doesn't he? Oh, oh, he does. Well, just a little piece. I want some eggs. So. He's a whole food dog. Well, when he eats apples and eats carrots it. and. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They're a mess. Oh okay, gosh, that's, that's awesome. all. Yeah, all right, guys. I'm going to eat my eggs. Thanks, Donna. Thank you. You okay. guys have a good night. Thank you, okay, Donna. Bye. Bye.